All right. Continue yeah. onwards. It's funny, too, because it's like the only reason this is in the post is because he's black. A hundred percent. Yeah, so this is just... Right now, the, the post is black crime and anti-Semitism news. Yeah, right. It's the cities aren't safe, and uh, you wouldn't believe who is being anti-Semitic today. Yeah, no, because somebody says, I understand that autism plays a big part in this, but it may require educational personnel physically capable of handling a violent person like this. So this the first comment is like, we need to get women out of schools. Yes. Like, women can't be... They're How too, many likes did it get? They're too weak. 434. The post, post comment family. section is... I tell you, this wouldn't have happened if we didn't have weak women... I love it. ...in the school. You need male. You need males. Six, eight males should be all the teachers. You need Kimbo Slice. You need Kimbo Slice teaching class. And then a response here from a guy named Pablo Umu, who says, what plays a big part is having no father around and being raised by oh wolves. Oh, my God. <laughs> by wolves? Yeah, wolves. <laughs> Um, uncomfortable as is for many people to acknowledge due to the proliferation of single parent households that's it let me just do control F lead paint dude it's crazy the the post comment section I just imagine yeah. a 97 year old like, yeah. like Jewish person that's lived in New York forever Yeah, talking about like they're outside my house I don't feel safe anymore in this city. Yeah, it's all New York racist. Which it's is New okay. York racist. Yeah, which it's is a very easy. particular brand. Of you know, someone named Cobra Wing. We're long past a point where trying to civilize a good number of these people is clearly impossible. And then for some reason, they put civilize in quotation marks and bolded it. <laughs> that means jail? Yeah, when yeah. schools had a real discipline ability, this wasn't so much of a problem. Clearly, their woke agenda has backfired badly. Uh -huh. What woke agenda? Let him have switch in class. <laughs> is that is that the woke agenda? It's the woke that agenda. Yeah, yeah. That backfired. He was a, he was inspired by the the trans movement. Yeah. In, his, in his action, it's crazy. It's, it's it's the same comments for any article in there it's also too all of these people will turn around and leave another comment on on this everybody like step on my lawn i'm gonna shoot you I, in the fucking face i will shoot you in the pussy if you touch my mailbox i'll come out of my house with a machine gun and kill you <laughs> and they're like they're like what's gonna happen when somebody cuts this guy off in traffic <laughs> i mean she took his property yes 100 percent. 100 percent yeah. It's so mean of her. Yeah, I've seen from Mark S. I feel confident someone has written a report explaining written a report explaining why punishment of any kind would damage this child's hopes of playing in the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Was you got to get that guy on the offensive line, though. Six seven two eighty is, is perfect. This is so, yeah. No wonder it's hard for schools to find good teachers and aides. Yeah, it's so funny. They react to things like this, which is in the news because it's an aberration. Right. It's and remarkable. They're, they're like, whew. This, uh, yeah, right. Even even the, the detail, a six-foot-seven child. <laughs> the, the headline could be, Get a load of this six foot seven mentally disabled boy. <laughs> and that's what the news was. That should have been an article. That was the news when I was growing up. If National he got an article first about how big he was, yeah. maybe he wouldn't have. Uh, Honestly, that could be his career. He could have been Guinness Book. Have call up that. Guinness Book of World Records. I have the world's biggest disabled uh -huh. boy. Look how big this boy. Look how big this disabled boy. Is. Yeah. That, and then you bring them, world. bring them around the the you know the evangelical South. You could say this is right out this is right out of Leviticus. Uh -huh. That's right. Look Somewhere how big, somewhere in there. Look how big that boy. You've seen the you've seen the Bible story about the big disabled boy. We all know it. We all know it well. Yeah. Is he really an autistic teen? Is or is that just a euphemism for mentally disturbed? Well, I'm pretty sure a teenager is objectively. <laughs> That's pretty easy to figure out. I think yes, he is a yeah. teen, and uh, autism is a, diagno a medical diagnosis. <laughs> so I don't really know if it's a euphemism. I'm going to look at the post and see what I see. 
see what I can find. Mm-hmm. Um, Ding Dong Sitch. Officer warns teens they can get shot and killed if they participate in the TikTok door knock challenge. See, exactly. It's the, yeah, right. The yeah. next thing is, yeah. If, they, if one of these teenagers knocked on my door, I'd blow their fucking if head you off. Knock on some, yeah, if you knock on my door, I will shoot you. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, look at this fucking animal. Doesn't want to switch taken away. Is that my doorbell I hear? Is that the button outside of my house that's designed for the public to press? Is someone is someone touching the button I put outside of my house? The thing that that, <laughs> that visitors use. Yeah. This is a very dangerous game. Very dangerous. Mm-hmm. I'm afraid a homeowner may think someone is trying to burglar. Why what burglar would use the door the like uh use the yeah. use the bell? 